Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures, and it's your Midday Market Minute. You have seen the equity markets bounce back from the lows of the session, and more hawkish Fed president from Philadelphia, as well as the Kansas City Fed president this morning, uh, started to increase yields a bit. And then on top of the poor PMI data, really wasn't that bad, but it was lower than expected, a contraction in manufacturing. It just was not conducive for higher equity prices. And remember, the equity markets, when we came in this morning, were up against major three-star resistance levels, a level that they have not been able to chew through on multiple attempts. So not surprising to see the fallback. We have been cautious, but optimistic, so cautiously optimistic. Uh, the NASDAQ really sort of leading the way, hitting its major three-star support, down near 76 and a quarter, 76.40, uh, bouncing back strongly. Uh, the S&P got near 2,900, 2,904, 2,905, a big level. Uh, still, still, the settlements, uh, as well as some levels 29, 26, uh, is going to be resistance here through the session, as well as 77.08, 77.48 uh, for the NASDAQ. So uh, it needed to really close back above there to neutralize what we saw this morning. Now, for crude oil, it is uh, taking it on the chin here after those poor PMI data. It was moving higher early with uh, the stronger PMIs, uh, still in the consolidation range. There's a lot of noise out there moving in this market, but really what you have to take here is it is in a consolidation range and we're not breaking out of the uh, strong resistance overhead and the strong support below. Uh, and then for gold, still holding 1,500, it's doing a tremendous job doing that. Uh, you have treasury yields around the world. Just on an uptick here today, uh, the hawkish comments, better Eurozone data, but gold is taking in stride, holding 1,500, a lot of support down there. Really need to get out about 1,516 in order to neutralize the consolidation we're seeing. Give us a call. We're here to help with anything on the board, 312-278-0500.